Hello, my dear friends, Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, and today I'm coming to you with what I'm calling a half a floss tube. <laughs> so, um, I have a lot of business type stuff to share with you, some new designs and some um, other new things that I'm working on. Not designs, but other things um, that I want to share with you, and I feel like it's enough to do a video. Um, also, I don't have time to do a full floss tube today because today is another painting day. We did not, we did not do that last week and at all. Mike and I, uh, Mike and I, I both were just pretty exhausted last weekend and just didn't feel like it. Today is another, or this weekend is another of Mike's three-day weekends, so um, we are hoping to get it all done this weekend. He has started upstairs already, so I didn't want to take the time to pull everything out and do a full floss tube today, but I did want to get something out to you about my new designs and some other things that I need to tell you about. Um, so yeah, I plan to do another floss tube probably early next week to get the other half done of all the other stuff I'm working on, primarily of which um, hoity-toity. I am 95% done. If I, I think I figured last night, if I can get 400 stitches done over the next four and a half days, that's what it will take to finish it. I will, I, I did 451 stitches last night in three and a half hours. No, in three hours. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be done early next week and I will do a video to show, share that with you as well as the other things I'm working on. And then I'll be doing another video probably on New Year's Eve um, when we get back from our travels to um, do a kind of a end of the year wrap up, do a finish parade. At this point, I have 31 finishes this year. I will have 32 with Hoity Toity and hopefully I will get some of these smaller Christmas ones done and I will be adding to that list. So I'm gonna share that with you, share my plans for the new year with you. Um, and hopefully another new design. So anyway, today I wanted to share with you <clears throat> Seasons in Lace Fall. Finally, finally, finally got this one stitched and up in the store. And I am, you know, these are not my favorite colors. So I was afraid that I would not be as pleased or that it wouldn't go as smoothly. I think it's gorgeous. I think the colors are rich and delicious. Um, that big brown mandala down there is just scrumptious. So yeah, I am very happy with it. So this is stitched on 36 count vintage country mocha by Zweigert. I did use the two strands of NPI silk over two linen threads as I've done with all of these pieces. The NPI silk, um, I have them on my Sarsi Girl little hanger things. Um, so again, let's see, two strands over two linen threads. I was able to stay with one skein of all of the colors I actually added this, I had gotten two skeins of some of the colors, and this this hanger actually has the second skein on it. I shouldn't have put it on because I wanted to show you what was left. But these three lengths here is pretty much what was left of this color. This is 134. So I did, I, I had plenty left of this one. Again, plenty left of 135 and plenty left of 903. 904 and 905 though, as you can see, I only have probably, um, let's see, there's four strands left on this, so two lengths, you know, two, using, using two strands each of 904, and 905, that looks like it's four and a bit left. So, I'm telling you this because if you are stitching on a lower count than 36 count, I would definitely get two skeins at least of 904 and 905. 
The other ones you will probably be okay with. It depends on how much frogging you have to do. And I actually had to do quite a bit more frogging on this one than I have on most anything else I stitch. I don't do a lot of frogging. Most of that is thanks to Pattern Keeper. But um, I apparently wasn't paying as much attention or my brain was occupied with many other things. But anyway, um, and for those of you, if you're doing stitching on 28, 14 count, um, I would definitely get two skeins of probably all the colors just to be sure. Just to be sure. There is a DMC conversion in the pattern as well. So, but again, you would definitely need two, two skeins of DMC because this is um, eight stranded lengths, whereas the DMC is six strands. So keep that in mind when you're buying your products. All right, so number four is done. That is the end of this series. So we have winter, Shuffle all these around here. Winter, spring, and summer. Wait, dropped the wrong thing. And summer. Now, I am going to be attempting to sew all these together with advice from my friends Maria and Wendy, I will be sewing all four together and framing them together. I don't expect to get that done until after the new year, the sewing and then the framing, just however long it takes for them to frame it. But my goal is that um, these will all get sewn together, hopefully without too much swearing <laughs> and framed. <laughs> And then I will be talking about the process along the way, I'm sure, and sharing it with you. I am not going to try to butt the, um, so these two will actually be next to each other. I am not going to try to butt the stitching right up against each other. I'm not going to do that to myself. I am going to leave maybe an eighth of an inch on each side. Um, in between the stitching. We'll see. Um, I got a question on my Facebook page yesterday about if if a person does not use, and this question came from my cousin Debbie. Hi Debbie. Um, if you don't use the exact same fabric that I used, will it, like if you use an Ada as opposed to a linen, will it still be as beautiful? Yes, it will. You are going to stitch on what you want to use, what you are most comfortable with. If you use an 18 count Ada, it's exactly the same size as a, my 36 count linen, um, unless I went over one on the 36 count linen, but I didn't, I went over two. Um, the biggest thing that makes a difference to the look of the finished piece is going to be the color of the fabric that you choose. And I will say that, um, I guess really the purple one is the only difference, the only different one. For the most part, I picked a color of fabric that was in the same color family as the, for, of the, as the floss, right? So a bluish for the blues a gold for the browns and golds, the browns and yellows, a pinkish for the reds and pinks, and then the purple is the only one that's different. This is a greenish that I used for the, um, for the purples, and I certainly would have been fine using a purple. Um, I don't think I had one that really worked with these shades of purple. So that is, I would say if you stick with that kind of idea, you will be hitting these out of the ballpark. They will all be gorgeous. Um, now for those of you, of course, that are stitching it all on one piece, what do you use? 
I would say any neutral would be fine. A gray would be lovely with all of these. Um, of course, a white or an off-white, you'd be safe. I don't think I'd stray too far into any other bold or very colorful colors. Um, I think I would stay pretty neutral if I were stitching all of them on one piece. So I hope that gives you some ideas of where to go with this. I cannot wait to see yours start to grow if you are stitching it on one piece. All right, so that is that one. Now you may have um, noticed if you were, if you saw any of my posts about this yesterday that um, I did not mention my website as a place to buy this pattern. That is because, and I did mention this in an earlier video, it might have been um, in one of my holiday gift extravaganza ones, I don't remember. No, I think it was my last floss tube. Um, anyway, I am shutting down my website. I get many more sales from Etsy, and Etsy takes care of all of the tax um, issues that a small business owner has to deal with. For the state of Idaho, they collect and they remit the taxes um, if anybody from the state buys my products. And it's just one less thing I have to worry about. Of course, I don't have to worry about shipping, so that's not a big deal. But anyway, so I have decided that I am going to shut down and just have Etsy and then of course Fat Quarter Shop, the Silk app, and of course every, everything cross-stitch for paper patterns as well as your own LNSs. I know Acorns and Threads is starting to carry my pattern, Strawberry Sampler in, um, in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania is starting to carry my patterns. Don't know if Keepsakes has gotten any yet. Um, there's some other ones that are not coming to my mind right now. But anyways, um, the main thing I have to consider when I'm doing this is for those of you that, if you have not downloaded anything you have bought yet, please go and do that. I have a kitty sitting here next to me. Um, please go ahead and do that. If for some reason you think that, um, Maybe you've downloaded and you can't find it. If for any reason you are concerned about your download, please get onto my site and download whatever you have bought. The free patterns that are there in my store, I will be moving over into my blog, so they will still be available. And then what I plan on doing, I have to figure out this functionally. I believe it's 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 a, an ability that's there. I just don't know the steps I have to take to do it. But I plan on downloading all of the um, orders that are in my store. So I have a record of everything. So if for some reason, two years down the road, your computer blows up and you lose your download, and I recommend having multiple backups of your downloads, by the way, but if something happens and you lose your download and you come to me you can say, you know, I, I ordered this pattern and I can double check it to make sure that I have a record of that. And then I can just send you the PDF. I feel that that's the best way to handle that kind of concern that might come up. Just as a side note, double backing up. I have my PDF saved and I'm not very good about keeping up with this, but I plan to. I have them saved on an external hard drive as well as in my Dropbox as well as in good notes. So I have my patterns, my PDF downloads in multiple places. So it's not like it's just residing on my computer. It's in the cloud and it's on an external hard drive. Um, so if anything should happen, I'm not likely to actually lose my downloads. Just wanted to put that out there. All right, other things that are happening. Um, thanks to Carolyn Zook. Um, she mentioned in her last YouTube video that she had set up an Amazon storefront. And I had been thinking about this for a while because I do get a lot of things from Amazon and um, I share that with you. And of course, a lot of my organizational things I find on Amazon. But I was having a heck of a time figuring out like like the like um, Priscilla and Chelsea have their own Amazon storefront. I was having a heck of a time figuring out how to do this. 
So when Carolyn mentioned it, I immediately messaged her and said, Carolyn, how in the world do you set up the Amazon storefront? I knew how to do an affiliate thing because Mike has had an affiliate thing for years, but I could not figure out the storefront piece. So she helped me with that and I now have, I am an Amazon influencer. <laughs> that just really tickles me. So here's my storefront. I will be linking this below and I will be linking, ah, I will be linking, um, you know, all the products too below that I mentioned. But here is my storefront. And what I have put on here, besides the cross-stitch stuff, organizational stuff, I have craft books on here. I have my display ideas, like everything from, um, you know, little stands like this to um, wooden things that I get on, on Amazon. I actually got a number of things on Amazon um, while we were in Hawaii because there just weren't a lot of options in Hawaii for display stuff. Um, the, the barnwood frames, those came from Amazon. So I have that on there. I also have um, some of gardening stuff that I'm starting to get, some stands and pots and stuff that I've started to get. I've put in here a, a, a category for the things that we got in the RV to help with organization in the RV, because that was very important in a small space. So for those of you that have small spaces, you might wanna check that out. Um, kitchen ideas for the RV, organization ideas. So I have all kinds of different things there. So again, I will be putting a link below for you to check that out. The other thing I wanted to share with you is um, my Fine Art America storefront. Now I have had this for a while and I haven't really done, I put a bunch of pictures up there, but I hadn't really done much with it and hadn't done much to promote it. I recently got an email from them that they started to carry, um, that they are starting to make jigsaw puzzles with our images. So I went in and started exploring and they not only make jigsaw puzzles, they also make greeting cards and they also are starting to make stickers. So I wanted to share that with you again and also kind of step you through what shopping on Fine Art America looks like because it's kind of a pain <laughs> if you don't know what to look for. So this is all the images that I currently have in there. I just have started to add some of my cross stitch images and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I have a lot of things, pictures from Hawaii, pictures of the Southwest, um, pictures of our trips to New England, just, just a lot of different things. And so all of these are now available as jigsaw puzzles. Oops, I'm bouncing you all around. As jigsaw puzzles and as, um, as greeting cards, as stickers, as tote bags, as pouches. I mean, all kinds of little things. What I'm going to do is I will be providing you a link to my shop page on there. And what I wanted to show you is, because if you just click on an image, it will have a list over here of what looks like everything that's available to purchase for that image, but it's not everything. And that's what I mean about it being kind of Kind of weird. So what you have to do is when you're on the shop page over here you'll see an, uh, um, a listing that says categories and right now or it's actually departments right now it starts with wall art and then it if you click on that it opens up into the other options and so you click on let's click on lifestyle and in lifestyle, you have a choice of yoga mats, tote bags, weekender tote bags, carry-all pouches, coffee mugs, and jigsaw puzzles. I do not put all of my images on all of these things because a lot of them just don't work. But jigsaw puzzles, if you're a jigsaw puzzle person, you can see all the images I have in here as jigsaw puzzles. And then if you change lifestyle to stationary, the choices for stationary are greeting cards, notebooks, or stickers. So I have my images set up for stickers. So for those of you, and as I add my more of my cross-stitch stuff, for those of you that do like the Book of Days, 
you could get a sticker and you're working on one of my projects, you could get a sticker for your book of days with one of my projects on it. I love that idea. I don't do that kind of thing, but I know a lot of you do. So anyways, there will be a link to my, to my um, Fine Art America shop down below as well. And perhaps you have still some Christmas presents that you have not gotten yet. Um, like I said, tote bags, little carry-all pouches, greeting cards, they're all available there. Um, okay, let me go back to my notes. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Let me go to photos. I did take a photo. I kind of had a rough, um, rough layout of all four of my seasons in lace together on the floor. And I did want to show you that photo. So you would have an idea of how they do look together. Of course, those of you that are stitching it on one piece of fabric will have it right up next to each other. But that is the four together. And like I said, I'm, I'm very tickled with it and I'm very glad I'm done with it. I am ready to move on to something else, quite frankly. All right, let me go back to my notes. Okay. The last thing I wanted to share with you is um, a new freebie. And um, this was inspired by my holiday gift extravaganza. Now I know a lot of you did not um, check out those videos, which is fine. Um, but my theme for this being in a new home, having all the feels that I have for being in a, a house again and being in a community, um, I was really centered on the thought of what a home means. And not just a home for the holidays, but a home for just in general, just what it means to be home. And so that inspired me to do a little freebie as another gift for my all of my friends. So just a little Quaker-esque, this is home. And this is on my blog, and I will be linking this below as well. So I have gotten a start on this, a bit of a small start, but I hope to have this done by the end of the year to add to my, my finishes for the year. So this is what I have so far. This is 28 count Ice Blue Lugana. I am stitching this with Vicki Clayton Silk two strands over two um, threads of the Lugana. And the silks that I am using, oh, I forgot to get those out. They are in my pretty, my pretty bag from Creative Country Girl, Tammy Blaylock. So I picked out first, this is Rubbed Darkest Mermaid. And as I was looking at the, um, the stitch count, for this piece, I realized I probably wouldn't have enough of this one color to do the whole piece since I am using two strands. So I picked out a second one and this is rubbed sampler teal. And so I'm going to do bits and pieces of the different motifs in that lighter color. Uh oh, get back here. Ah, oh, I just sent something flying off my table. Anyway, I will I will pick different parts, just hopefully enough to um, make it so I have enough of the dark color to go to finish this piece. So that is my freebie. Most of the freebies at this time of year I know are more Christmassy, but like I said, since my theme for my holiday gift extravaganza was home, this is what came out. So, um, I think that is all I had to share with you. Again, all the links for all of these things will be down below. I hope you will check them out. I hope you all have an absolutely marvelous holiday season or are having. We are um, like I said, getting the painting done today, and then it's going to be full speed ahead to get ready for my younger son getting here next Tuesday. I have, he has requested some special foods that I need to get cooking for him, baking. Um, 
and then making stuff to take with us out to Seattle for our Christmas dinner with my son. So with my other son, with all of us together. <laughs> so um, yeah, lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. But hoity toity is going to be part of that. That is going to get done too. So anyways, I will hopefully see you again. Well, like I said, early next week. So before Christmas to share all of that with you. Um, until then, have a lovely weekend. Take care of yourselves and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.